Als er als Schüler besser war als du, galt er sowohl als klug als auch als Wunderkind. Hello, English-speaking world, all the German learners, I greet you. In this video, you will be looking at the word als. This word can have several meanings. You probably know it as a subordinating conjunction, so a subclause starter, meaning when, if you're referring to something in the past. For example, als ich zur Arbeit ging, war es noch dunkel. When I went to work, it was still dark. Als ich ein Kind war, hatte ich einen Hund. When I was a child, I had a dog. You might also know this word in the comparative form of an adjective, meaning then. For example, Ich bin größer als du. I'm taller than you. Er weiß mehr als du denkst. He knows more than you think. But in this video, I want to mainly focus on the word als as a sort of preposition. People can seem to agree whether or not it should be called a preposition, because it doesn't come with a case, which prepositions in German usually do. Its English equivalent as, however, is considered a preposition, so I will go with this categorization for now. Let's look at some examples first. Als Kind hatte ich eine Katze. As a child, I had a cat. Als Verantwortlicher treffe ich die Entscheidungen. As the man in charge, I make the decisions. You will notice that in German there is no article between als and the noun. In rare cases an article can be used like you could use the indefinite article to emphasize the number one, or you could use the definite article to emphasize that a specific one is meant. As a rule of thumb, though, just go with no article. So far, so easy. But what about the case of the preposition? As said before, it doesn't have a case like the rest of the prepositions. It works like an apposition. That is an additional description, like Herr Müller, der Postbote, ist nett. Mr. Miller, the mailman, is nice. Ich mag Herrn Müller, den Postboten. I like Mr. Miller, the mailman. You see, the apposition always has the same case as the noun that it qualifies. If Mr. Miller is the subject, so is the mailman. If Mr. Miller is the object, so is the mailman. Because obviously the mailman is Mr. Miller. And the exact same rule goes for als as a preposition. Most of the time you will use it with subjects, so in the nominative case. But any case is possible. So, just use the case of the word that the als phrase refers to. Here are some examples. Als Behinderter darf man hier parken. As a disabled person, you may park here. Als Deutscher bin ich natürlich für die deutsche Mannschaft. As a German, of course, I'm for the German team. Sie wählt ihn als ihren zukünftigen Ehemann. She chooses him as her future husband. Ihn als Verantwortlichen trifft die Schuld. He, as the man in charge, is to blame. Als meinem besten Freund vertraue ich ihm. As my best friend, I trust him. Es schmeckte ihm, als begeistertem Fischesser, besonders gut. It tasted especially good to him, as an enthusiastic fish eater. Er schämte sich des Fehlers als peinlichen Patzers. He was ashamed of the error, as an embarrassing blunder. Wir gedenken Herrn Schmidt, 
als treuen und vielgeschätzten Mitarbeiters. We commemorate Mr. Smith as a loyal and much valued co-worker. By the way, seeing it in the dative construction is already rare, but seeing it in combination with the genitive case is so rare that even native speakers might get confused when they stumble upon it. They might spontaneously say whichever case they feel sounds best to them at the moment. That's all there is to say about als as a preposition. Let's look at what we've learned. 1. Als can be a conjunction meaning when, when it refers to a past event. It will then be at the beginning of a subclause. 2. Als is also used in the comparative form meaning than, like älter als du, older than you. 3. When using als as a preposition, meaning as, unlike in English, the article of the noun that follows is usually dropped. For example, as a child, als Kind. Als has no case of its own. The following noun phrase always takes the same case as the word it refers to. Bonus info! Let me add two more meanings of als in specific combinations. Together with the verb gelten, it means someone or something is deemed to be or seen or known as something. This can be used with nouns or adjectives. In case of nouns, it is always used with the nominative case. For example, Wikipedia gilt als unzuverlässige Quelle. Wikipedia is deemed to be an unreliable source. Er gilt als ehrlich und aufrichtig. He is known to be honest and sincere. And then there is also the conjunction sowohl als auch, which just means both. For example, Ich mag sowohl Katzen als auch Hunde. I like both cats and dogs. Alright, that's it. If you have any questions, write them in the comments and I will try to answer them. Like and subscribe and vielen Dank für Ihre Aufmerksamkeit.